Hello and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi, my name's Stephen and today I'm going to do a walk around video presentation for you of this fantastic looking 2013 Mitsubishi Triton GLX. Now as you can see at the front straight away we've got this really nicely styled open front bulba. I do believe it's made by Outback Accessories. Uh, as you can see it gives plenty of clearance room for the wheels so when you do take go off road you're not going to hit the bar at all. We've got our nicely styled uh, hoop on the top there giving us driving light mount points or um, for aerials also on the side there too and we've got our uh, Nava driving lights on the front there too now part of this video is going to be the condition of the paintwork and it is a little bit drizzly today but we'll still go through and see what we find so having a look across the front really good condition on here I think we have got a couple of minor stone chips on the bonnet from what we can see, we've got our nice big open headlights there, very nicely styled, our chrome grill in behind the driving lights and the frame there. And the other good thing about the bull bar there is with that big hoop there, plenty of airflow through. So it's not gonna restrict the airflow and get the car hot. Now as we come around to the driver's side, the first thing I notice is our nice safari snorkel here, very nicely fitted. We've got our indicator in the guard there too. And as you can see, when we look down, Nice open Goodyear Wrangler tyres there. So nice semi-aggressive tread pattern, very good tread in there and looking at the condition of the rim, fantastic condition there. As we come further back we've got our nice big reverse mirrors there, our black handles and looking at the paintwork on the driver's door and the passenger door, really good condition. I can't see any marks at this point, there might be, sorry, just a couple of white marks on the door there. And then coming down, we've got our nice flat side step there, which does have a few scuff marks on it, but nothing substantial on the vehicle there. Our little mud flaps at the front on the, the uh, bottom of the guard there too. And as we come further back, looking at the condition of the tub now, along the back here, really good condition. No big marks or anything that I can see. Uh, coming down from there, once again, looking at our rear tyre, fantastic tread on this one. And look, also looking at the rim here again, really good condition. Now the other thing I want to point out if our cameraman can get in there is you will notice in the suspension here at the back we do have airbags in there. So you can, we've got some valves at the back as we go around I'll show, show you there. Uh, coming around to the back you can see just beside the number plates here we've got our valves so we've got airbags that you can pump up. Really good there as far as if you're going to carry a heavy load you can just put that extra uh, air pressure in there and it's going to give a nicer ride rather than sagging at the back. Now the other thing you'll notice here is our, t uh, our TJM rear step uh, tow bar there. Now we've got a little ding on this side. Now the really good thing with this one is it does have the rear intrusion bars underneath for the tub protection as well. And then coming up from there, you can see here, done by opposite lock, we've got our SMM uh, canopy here popping open really nicely styled inside really well looked after here we've got our nice vinyl roofing very nicely uh, done there well looked after popping the back open we do have our nice tub liner in here now the good thing here you can see we've got a spare wheel in here with the standard tire you also have one underneath in this vehicle nicely strapped down on a sliding rack too so nice and easy to get out there so if you don't need that one you can put something else in there and it's nice and easy to slide out and lock there too so when you put it back in you lock it away and then you've also got the bottom front runner so it's a front runner fit out so we've got our little compartment there and then you've got three fantastic little tubs there that sit in there nicely so you can pull them out and pack them up as you need to now as i said it is drizzling a little bit a good grab handle on the top here for pulling down like short people like myself and you will see up on top we do have a very nice roof basket on top of our canopy there bolted down so a little bit of extra storage there too and see if the canopy is open on the side as you pop the windows open you can see how nice big space they are on on the uh, windows there so easy to get access and very good gas struts too pushing open as we come around to the left hand side looking at the condition of the back panel we've got a little mark here, nothing major, very good condition so far. Once again our rear tyre on the left hand side fantastic tread and the rim really good there too. Now coming further along having a look at the condition of the rest of the vehicle we've got our fantastic side step on this side really good condition. 
Having a look at the paintwork on the passenger side, looks to be in really good shape here. Doesn't seem to be any marks that I can see uh, on this vehicle. And as I come down to the front guard, once again, really good condition on the guard here. Having a very close look for you. No marks that I can see on the front guard. And look at the tyre, really good condition there. And so is the rim. So as we come back towards the front, I'll uh, pop the bonnet for you. And this is where you'll see all the power for our fantastic Triton underneath here. So underneath, you will see a 2.5 litre turbo diesel engine. If I can just get this open as we lift up there. Now our detailers have done a fantastic job of covering everything in silicon spray to look, make it look shiny. The problem with that is when you touch it, it feels oily. But you're gonna get out of our four cylinder 2.5 litre turbo diesel engine, you're gonna get 131 kilowatts of power and also 400 newton meters of torque, which is really good for that towing capacity. So I forgot to mention earlier, three ton towing on here. So with our five speed manual transmission, you're gonna get an average of 8.1 litres per 100 kilometres. So out of the 75 litre tank that the Triton has, that is a whopping 926 kilometres of driving on average. All right, now to the inside of our Triton GLX. We'll start on the driver's door here. We've got our window switch controls and our window lock button here. Very nice and easy to use. Turning the wheel a little bit down for our cameraman, you'll see we've got two keys for the vehicle and we also have two keys for the canopy, which is really good. We've got our mirror controls up on the right hand side for our left and right, our traction stability control button, and we also have here a red arc brake controller that's been fitted to this vehicle, so really good there. Up from there we've got our headlight switch on our indicator stalk, and our wipers on the left hand stalk. Now having a look at our steering wheel, very nice condition here, we've got our cruise control on the right hand side, nice and easy to use, turn on and off, uh, set, resume, and our cancel button there and my phone just going off in my pocket there. Coming across from there, having a look at our main unit here, we've got our stereo system, has our CD player, has our Bluetooth for our phone there as well, uh, USB and auxiliary port just here, nice and easy there. Also has the microphone showing where you're, um, for your Bluetooth there. Coming down from below, we've got our heating, cooling controls and our aircon button up here, going through with our vent switches, uh, our fresh air research button, or switch, sorry. And then down from there, we've got some storage in the base here. Below there, we do have a 12 volt lighter, as well as a charge point. A little area to sit your change or your phone while it's charging. Coming from there, you can see our five speed manual transmission with our reverse, very good condition gear stick there. And the four x four transmission lever here. So you've got your two high, your four high, and your four low. So really easy to use. Coming further back, we've got our ash cup or change cup for some people and two drink holders, so you can take that out. And from there we go into our center console, which opens up. So we've got a little bit of a lid there where we can stick our phone cord down there for charging if we need to. Although this does have the charge point at the front hidden away there. Uh, so really good there, plenty of room in there for a small center console as well. Now, as we have a look around the condition of this vehicle, the inside of this car is really good condition, just as the outside. Doesn't look like it's had a very hard life at all. Seats are in fantastic condition. We've got genuine rubber floor mats down there uh, throughout the vehicle. And as you look at even the roof lining, no big scuff marks or anything on the roof lining, which is really good. And as Lynn shows you around the vehicle, I'll pop out the service history on this car and see if we can find so you got your 15,000 K service, your 30,000, your 45,000, and we've done a service at 61,000 when we got the vehicle as well. So you're not due for a service on this car anytime soon. Okay, so that's our walk around video presentation for you today of our fantastic 2013 Mitsubishi Triton GLX. As you can see, a lot of gear on this car, very good condition. So please give us a call here at Berwick Mitsubishi on 9907 0555. And thanks for watching.